The book, Common Stocks and Uncommon Profits by Philip Fisher, is ideal for beginners who are seeking to learn more about the stock market and wish to invest their hard-earned money wisely. It is not a book that will make you rich quick and get you out of hard work, but it will teach you how to steadily increase and maintain your wealth. Here are my three key lessons from the book. Lesson 1. Before you invest in your stock, do a comprehensive analysis. Of course, you can't just invest in a company without doing some research first. So where should you start? Begin by making a list of the companies that interest you. It may also be helpful to research companies from industries that you are familiar with. After that, you'll have to analyze their strengths and weaknesses extensively. Examine the company's activity profile and industry analysis, its competitors, and how it manages money. All of these are challenging to research, so the scuttlebutt method proves to be highly effective. Stakeholders are contacted directly, and the information is obtained directly from them. As a result, you can form an accurate opinion about the company. Doing such extensive research, however, can take quite a lot of time. That is why it is important to choose the right stocks. Ensure that you consider their management effectiveness and whether they invest in research and development. When it comes to their product line and services, this indicates their commitment to the future. Further, you may want to consider checking their reputation in terms of employee and customer satisfaction to determine if they have a strong or weak organization. Lesson 2. Be sure to buy low and sell high. Investing is essentially about buying and selling, isn't it? Buying a stock when it is low and selling it later on once the price has increased is the best way to increase your wealth. Even though this may seem obvious, you may be surprised at how your mentality changes when you practice. Whenever money is at stake, people often panic sell their stocks to prevent further losses when their stocks fall. Stocks usually recover and prices increase dramatically after a downturn. Due to the fear of missing out, the average investor will want to hop on board and take part in the upward trend. This cycle is repeated continually. A result of this is a market where stocks are overvalued or undervalued. Investors who are committed to the long term must always keep their eyes on the future. Be aware that the market is always driven by short-term events and is therefore irrational. For instance, a well-established company may see its profits decline as a result of a significant expense incurred in the R&D department. Despite the fact that this will benefit the company in the future, investors do not see it in that light. Investing at the right time can significantly increase your wealth. During market dips, keep your position as they are transitory and focus on the long term. One of the greatest investors of all time, Warren Buffett, once said, be fearful when others are greedy and greedy when others are fearful. Lesson 3. Identify mature companies with a stable, long-term profit potential. The dilemma facing many people is whether to trade or invest. When your stock is going down early, it may appear attractive to cash in short-term profits or sell. However, the greatest investors recommend that you stay invested in the market at all times. You should avoid timing the market as it is irrational and short-term oriented. Thus, instead of investing during dips and selling at all-time highs, which is actually quite difficult to achieve, one should rather invest in the companies they have thoroughly researched. If you perceive that there is a significant dip for no fundamental reason, and the market is simply acting irrationally, then you can time your entry points and recurring purchases. An important fundamental change in the company is what I mean by fundamental reason. Investors should seek mature companies with high profit margins compared to their operating income, high employee satisfaction, high customer retention and recurrence, and if possible, ownership of patents and distribution channels. Any analysis of an enterprise should consider these factors as they determine not only the present value, but also its future prospects. In conclusion, Common Stocks and Uncommon Profits is a valuable piece of writing regarding the stock market and the analysis of potential investments as it offers both the novice and intermediate investors the necessary information needed to begin investing. This book is perfect for those who wish to accumulate and maintain wealth over the long term. This book presents strategies that have stood the test of time, making them timeless concepts that can be applied by all investors. Who would I recommend the book Common Stocks and Uncommon Profits to? A 25-year-old stock market investor who wishes to learn more about this area, a 21-year-old finance student who desires further education in this area outside the classroom, or a 30-year-old who is interested in starting a retirement fund and is looking for ways to invest the funds they have saved so far. Thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one.